Hello and welcome to Daily Red Video. Before starting the video, I must make one thing very, very clear that this is a temporary fix or a fixes that uh, I like to suggest, you know, to um, reduce the frustration in which I have actually faced, you know, just like you. So if you are here watching this video, if you have clicked on this title, then you must be like uh, me where, uh, you know, keep on seeing the reCAPTCHA image verification for every Google search query that you have performed. So in my case, till yesterday, it was, you know, just uh, I need to enter the verification verification code uh, to bypass uh, you know to the search results page so i was entering it believing that the isp will fix it or the network problem will be automatically fixed but uh, since today morning uh, i was not able to see the recaptcha uh, verification section uh, i was able to as you can see it on the screen uh, the error page appeared for every search query i performed but the recaptcha section uh, was not loading because of some 404 not found or some other you know blacklisting process that happened at the Google side so I was not sure like I tried to narrow down the problem where it actually happened it was very frustrating you know and I tried to uh, figure out few workarounds to uh, kick this out because I need Google every uh, you know at least in an hour I use Google for my research purposes like three to four times minimum so it is very important and the instant alternative after going through a lot of google forums uh, the support guides and many people have faced the similar problem so uh, some people have suggested that using firefox will be the great idea i and i like to you know uh, suggest you that as an instant fix you should consider using firefox uh, as a temporary fix number one uh, consider using firefox to perform all your google search query i know it is a little bit difficult you know if you are totally dependent on Google Chrome like me and I'm using Mac operating system here so I try to figure out what the actual problem was and uh, the temporary fix number two uh, I do have some permanent fix which I believe because uh, for the past 12 hours plus I'm not seeing the recapture and I'm able to uh, you know see the whenever I enter the Google I'm able to browse through uh, the search result without any problem so here you can see it works just fine just like yesterday i'm able to browse through the google search results without any uh, you know frequent pop-ups so I was I'm really happy right now but uh, I cannot say that it is a permanent fix so I have to suggest this uh, solution like whatever the steps I followed uh, to you uh, and you need to you know make sure that this may work uh, for a few days or a few hours and it may stop work so I cannot confirm that that's what I'm trying to say so I cannot give 100% assurance that this will be the permanent fix so as I mentioned in the title uh, it will be a temporary fix that I like to suggest to, to you today all right so if it worked permanently do let me know if you are happy with the video tutorial that you, and you have followed these steps and uh, it did work for two to three days more uh, then do visit this page again and uh, do leave a comment below that i will be really thankful to you because it will help more people to uh, you know follow the recommended step uh, to you know save from keep on seeing that uh, recapture verification page so the temporary fix number two that i like to suggest you is resetting the browser settings completely and the browser settings along with the cookies the temporary files everything so you need to reset everything and uh, what i did is uh, i clicked on the settings you know after visiting the chrome's preferences page uh, here in mac computer i clicked on the chrome uh, on the top left corner next to the apple logo and i clicked on that and clicked on preferences and it took me to this page so here uh, click on the three lines prefix to the settings and uh, this advanced section click here and then go to reset settings so this will reset the entire browser settings to its default se se settings so uh, thing is like when I uh, actually logged out from this account you know the account that I was using with the Chrome browser I was able to browse Google without those annoying pop-ups so it was hard for me to narrow down like how come the Google Google uh, account can be the problem because it must be the IP address or the system might have some malware infection as per the suggestion made by the Google product support forums so I was very confused because uh, when I log out from this account this Gmail account I was able to browse the web and the multiple accounts that I have logged in with my Chrome browser all had the same problem 
I had to log out to use the browser. So it was very confusing and uh, it was very uh, you know, frustrating at the same time. So I reset the settings of the browser and in my uh, Mac computer, I have this uh, clean my Mac utility where I cleaned up the system junk and as Google suggested that there might be a malware infection, it comes with the malware removal tool. So I performed the scan and it showed me after you know scanning all the system related files that the system is clean and uh, there is, you know, uh, uh, no problem with the system so i simply flushed out all the temporary settings uh, including you know the catch dns uh, catch clearance uh, if you uh, you know feel like clearing up the system catch um, you need to quit all the browser and if it asks you uh, to quit all the browser close all the browser and perform the scan you can download the trial version for free and if you like it you can uh, use it permanently in your system you know by purchasing it for 39.95 dollars i believe so you, you we do have the review of the software detailed review of it and i love the software and th at this moment uh, i believe that this one helped me uh, to you know clean up all the system related catch files and temporary files a little bit deeper than what I actually did with the settings uh, of the you know the Chrome browser. So it helped me uh, a little bit more and to flush the uh, DNS you know cache uh, to relate it to the internet speed as you can see um, I'm performing this uh, cleanup and if I quit everything it will do the all the cleaning tasks along with the DNS flush. So I'll also leave a, a terminal command so if you're good at terminal then you you can uh, launch the spot you can go to the spotlight search or in windows computers or linux computers you can go to the command prompt and uh, google for you know um, i know it is awkward to say google for as the problem is with the google so use the different browser as i suggested in the temporary fix number one and try to you know google for this uh, command that you need to use for flushing your dns so here uh, in terminal that you can uh, perform the dns flush uh, by certain command i will be leaving that command in the description i don't remember it exactly so i'll uh, copy it from a blog post and i'll paste it in the description of this uh, video uh, you can copy it from there and uh, clean the terminal uh, you can uh, launch it to clean the flush the dns cache from the terminal you know by entering your system mac password so or windows computers password um, so this way you can uh, you know make sure that it is not the ip that is the problem so you have flushed the dns and one more thing is you can uh, what you can do is what i actually did is i opened the network preferences i went into the advanced settings then clicked on uh, tcp ip and then i clicked on the renew dhcp released which suggested by some uh, user in the google product support forum so i followed that step too and i resetted everything and after half an hour 30 minutes uh, i was you know uh, again trying to access google uh, noticing that I have logged into the uh, account, the Gmail account in my Chrome browser, and I try to search for uh, something, you know, I try to search for uh, results in the Google, and I was able to, uh, you know, navigate through Google search without any problem. It really did took time for me, some time for me, and uh, uh, I am really happy right now because after several searches, I'm a little bit afraid to search faster that it may again, you know, um, flag my ip as a spam thing but uh, no problem so far so i'm able to uh, browse the web without you know use the google search without any problem so as you can see uh, so these are the steps the two t temporary fixes along with the permanent fix which i believe but i cannot assure you that this will fix uh, you know 100 percent to you uh, so try it uh, if it worked it will be really great and uh, don't forget to you know uh, like this video and share it with your friends and follow followers at Facebook and Twitter if it did help you otherwise you know you know what to do so simply give a thumbs down and uh, I'll understand that it, this step didn't work for you or leave that in the comment below that if you want to discuss it with me and uh, if leave that in the comment below I'll try to you know assist as best as I can so thank you very much and if you have any other questions feel free to uh, leave a comment and uh, have a wonderful day